So I've got a question here on YouTube, and it asks in regards to Dolby Atmos, how big a room is needed? Or do the speakers just need to be close to equal distance? For instance, centre speaker will be farther back than front sides to maintain a spherical pattern. Will a smaller room work as long as equal distance for spherical placement is met? And the, the answer to this is Dolby have basically a, 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 a guideline and um, a sheet that is recommended. It's basically the recommended size, minimum size for a room. This room here I have built specifically to the exact specification that Dolby have on this sheet. From that speaker to that speaker is within two millimeters. From that to that is within two meters. From floor to ceiling is within two meters. Everything is in within two millimeters. It is bang on, identical to the, the kind of Dolby Atmos uh, spec. Um, it can go larger, but it can't go smaller. Um, now, how important is that? It's, it's, it is important, more important if you're going to go down the route of Dolby coming down to your studio and kind of certifying and saying, yes, your, your room is, is certified ready for Dolby Atmos. We, we, we confirm this and that's, that's what route we went down. And that's why we built it to bang on specifications because it, that's important to us and that's important to our clients to know. So you go ask yourself, is that important to you? And if it's not important to you, you can, you can make a smaller room. And I, I believe me, I've looked on, um, I've seen online at, at studios around the world and some of their setups are crazy ridiculous how their speaker placements is and i i can i look at these these kind of knowing how um how how important it is to get these these measurements bang on and having basically every speaker pointing directly at that sweet spot i know how important this is um when i see these studios and they're not and it, it, it really, really annoys and not annoys, but stresses me because I know how bad that's going to sound. And as someone that's just kind of, you know, I live and breathe audio, that sort of thing just really, really kind of grinds me. Um, and I know how bad that's going to sound. And you can get away with, with coming smaller. Um, but it is going to affect the room. The room does get affected. And I spoke about this in a video before where I was talking about ceiling heights with someone. Basically, they had a pitch ceiling and uh, they wanted to know whether, because you have to meet, I think it's six foot from floor to ceiling. I think it's two, two meters, 400, something like that. Um, so they couldn't get that exact height because they had a pitched roof like that where they're in an attic so th they could only get two speakers at that height the other speakers were would be lower down if they were to fit four um and i basically said to them you know if you're not going to go down this certification route which i mean if you're putting a dolby atmos studio in an attic maybe you're most probably not you're doing this more not not maybe hobbyist but but kind of um not on on the kind of scale that um that Dolby would be looking at to certify kind of thing. Um, but the, the thing is with that is you can bring that ceiling height down, you know, a, a, as long as they're above your head. Um, but ultimately you, you do want to have um, something like a Trinov or, or, you know, any any of these kind of uh, Sonarworks have just brought out, um, which is a very cheap, much cheaper option. Sonarworks just brought out um, like for Dolby Atmos multi-channel, and the the, the Trinov works incredibly well. I mean, I've got a Trinov here, and I, I would not fit a Dolby Atmos studio without a Trinov or some sort of room correction, because it's all well and good putting all these these speakers in, but you aren't there there is always going to be imperfections you can have the best room i mean i built one of the best rooms in the in the uk here easily and um i know how important that trinov is 
because I can turn it on and off and the room falls apart if it's off. And that's by no fault of the room. It's just when you put multiple speakers in, that's going to happen. Um, so in terms of bringing the room in, you've got to be, it's, you've got to be aware that if you do do that, um, there are going to, there are going to be issues. Um, it's very important you keep that kind of um, what you were talking about, the spherical kind of dome type box cube um, positioning. So, so you basically have to have your sweet spot. Now, the easiest way to do this is when you build your room, put a mark on the floor, put a little tape, a little X on the floor. That's your sweet spot. Now, every other speaker has to go bang straight towards it. Every speaker points directly at that sweet spot. Um, there, you can go onto Dolby's website and get uh, a, basically a diagram for how to set uh, all these and the bang on um, kind of um, measurements. Um, what do they call it? Uh, bang on angles. So it's the bang on kind of angles you need uh, for each speaker. And getting that information is, is really good. Um, it's not it's not as clear as just going you can't just put a speaker there point it at you and then put a speaker there point it at you and a speaker there point it at you and put all these speakers in just kind of point them at you and then just go play ah that sounds alright because it doesn't it won't work the audio coming from there will reach you quicker or slower than the audio is coming from there and and believe me with two speakers right if you're thinking in stereo and these two speakers hit you, and th th let's say they're slightly off. You can kind of, you can tell, but those two speakers, bang on, they're hitting you. Right, sounds great. Now times that by seven, and there's another, you know, 15 speakers around you, and they're all hitting you at the same time. Milliseconds of delay causes phase. It's really, really, really important with your seat speaker placement and you cannot get a great sounding room without some sort of room correction uh, spq on the matrix for instance things like that the uh, the genelex have um built-in room correction they it, you it room correction is really really important because no matter how well you think you've built your room 15 speakers coming from all different angles you cannot predict how this is going to sound and it's very very difficult to get a great sounding room without any sort of room correction so you know what i'm saying here is you can you can build your room to whatever specifications you can get it to like build it as big as you can but ultimately you know build it as big as you can but bear in mind that you you will have to make some changes like for instance here these speakers the reason i installed these speakers was because they're wall mounted they all slot into the wall so these are all back onto the um onto the wall that's behind that wall so you've got you've got a wall on the front where all the speakers are, are slotted in which has all your acoustics and then behind that you have a false wall which is all your your basically your your um acoustics to stop sound getting out the room um the, the wall on the front, however, is just for room reflections. So the wall that these are all built into is an actual wall that the speakers are housed into. And the reason I had to use these speakers, or, or rather, thankfully, I, I use these speakers, they're blooming amazing, um, was because these speakers all wall mount. They all go into the wall. So the speakers in the wall are like 200 deep, these ones, which which allowed me to have a bigger room because the problem you have with um, speakers on stands, speakers on stands come off the wall by, what, 500, 600? You know, for a good, good size speaker, they come off the wall by that much. Whereas speakers like this, they sit into the wall. So you imagine if I had this wall, for instance, in front of me, then I had to have speaker stands for each one. I'd be, I'd be probably right back here you know i'd be i'd be 500 mil off of that wall which would bring and then the same on the back wall which would bring me in a meter so i'm now a meter smaller in my room 
Um, now, the Trinov is a, a room correction or like a Trinov is going to allow you to correct a room based on wherever you put the speakers. So that sort of thing's going to be highly important if you are planning on going minimum under the minimum spec that Dolby recommend. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think... I don't think it's going to affect you too much if you go slightly under that spec, but do have a look at that spec. Do 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 honestly have a look at it because it's 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 listed. It's easy to find. It's on Dolby's website. Um, find that. Basically, try and build to that spec. If you can't build to that spec for whatever reason, the room's not big enough to build to that spec. Um, think about. Think about, really, really think about room correction because you are going to need it. Even if you build up over that spec, you're still going to need a room correction. And it's it's very, very important. I had, um, I was without a Trinov while I waited for the Trinov to come. Um, I was without a Trinov for about two weeks. Um, then it arrived, I fitted it, and it was like, wow. Like my room sounded cool before i liked how it sounded before then i put the trinov in and you put this room correction on it was like sh the room become this cohesive sound whereas before it was it was you know i thought it was good don't get me wrong we all thought it was good everybody that came in here was like yeah it sounds amazing but then you realize once you actually do what's what's required of it once you actually put that perfect room in here then you go, wow, yeah. Once you've got a reference point to A to B, <coughs> you realise just how good room correction is when you get really, really good room correction. And Trinov is the best room correction I've I've ever experienced. And I highly recommend it. But it's very expensive. I think you're talking about £11,000 for a 16-channel Trinov, which is um, quite a lot when you consider you've got to buy all these speakers as well. But it's highly worthwhile. So, yeah. So, to summarise on that, I guess, you know, if you are going to um, come in off the walls, you've got to look at room correction. You have to look at room correction. Even if you aren't coming in off of that, that, um, that minimum kind of uh, spec that I mentioned about Dolby Atmos, you've still got to use room correction. It's really, really important. Like, really important.